Dan and I travelled to the island of Gran Canaria, courtesy of EasyJet, to document a true bucket list ride. Before you see that video though, we want to take you behind the scenes of our trip. Because we've been travelling with our bikes for many, many years now, and so we want to show you, well, how we do it basically. We want to show you that these jaw-dropping, amazing riding destinations really are more accessible than you might have thought. It all starts about 36 hours ago. Right then, Gowick, just south of London. Britain is doing its brilliant winter thing. It's actually lashing with rain, but in just a few hours, all been well, we are going to be in the sun on Grand Canaria. Right, let's see if we can find Lordy. Right, mate. Good morning. Good morning. How's your hair? haircut for the holidays. That's what I was going to say, mate. How do you manage to get yours looking like that far, mate? Well, I do have to wake up even earlier than you would do normally. All right, that's why my hair always looks crap. Come in. Apparently, Dan, this is the uh, largest bank of self-checking desks in Europe. Is it? Yeah, apparently. It's a great bag. Right, just before we get checked in, I thought I would show you inside my bike bag. Both bike and bike bag, pretty well travelled, it has to be said. Got two pairs of wheels with me, both tucked in nicely here. There's nothing really rocket science going on when you're packing your bike. We've got videos on the channel already. But obviously rear mech is definitely on. I'm leaving the hanger on, that's fine. ETAP batteries both off so they don't get drained whilst we're flying. And the only other thing that's interesting is up front, in here, we've got a few bits and bobs. We've got Dan Lloyd's trusty miniature track pump there, because obviously you don't really want a full-size track pump in your bike bag. It's a recipe for disaster with carbon fiber. And then the all-important bag of bits. So if that goes missing, my week is screwed. Good morning. Uh, our sporting equipment. Can you move your bag then? Hiya. It's early. Send bag. This bag weighs five kilos less than mine. It's because it hasn't got wheels. It's not that strong. <laughs> right, mate. I'm sized. Thank you very much. All good. Did you know, Dan, that is the, uh, the world's largest automated bag drop? It's a good fact for you. Isn't it? 5 a.m., yeah. When did you find that out? I just pick up these things, yeah. Just retain knowledge. Is that a new bag? No, it's not actually. Just save it for special occasions. <laughs> special man bag. Where are we going for breakfast, mate? Uh, I actually Me don't know what's here. Is there a Jamie Oliver? Uh, no. Yes, there is, actually. Over that way. Let's go there. Right then, here we go. Down to choice, Jamie Oliver. I'm a creature of habit, and I normally come here, and I will get exactly the same breakfast. What are you going to get, Dan? Scrambled egg on toast. I literally forgot my toothbrush. Cool. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Hi there. Hello. Thank you. See that? It's British rain. See you later, British rain. I've never been to Grand Canaria, no. I've been to Tenerife. 
but not Gran Canaria. But apparently the roads are way better in Gran Canaria. There we go, let's go find out. Not just rain, it's um, sideways rain right now in the UK. Which basically means it's almost always quite satisfying getting on a plane here yeah. in the UK. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. Any side trouble, Dan, is that I'm going to have to shave my legs when we get there. It's so windy, I'm not even sure the hair product I'm using is strong enough. Hey, there they are, mate. Oh, good. Yeah. We've got about an hour and a half to go, haven't we, on our four-hour flight. Uh, Sai is busy being a bookworm. He's particularly pleased with this book and the purchase of it, not necessarily because of the content. Do you want to explain, Sai? Well, no, I'm quite pleased with the content. It is a good book, but uh, I found it in a charity shop for 99p, uh, and I have a particular pet hate with uh, people who have admitted to doping, then uh, writing an autobiography and profiting from their doping a second time. So if I can find uh, a doper's autobiography in a charity shop, I will buy it. Uh, so yeah, Keanu Reese, nice book, but uh, he hasn't profited from it. Oh yeah. That's the seventh time I've heard that story. And he... I really am that chuffed. Yeah, you can tell, can't you? Yeah, but no, it is interesting. Like, it's really interesting. I'd recommend everyone go and scour charity shops, see if they can find it. Yeah, it's, but he uh... wouldn't recommend, recommend anyone buy it at retail. No, of course not. No, absolutely. What are you doing, Dan? Uh, well, so far, in the previous two and a half hours, I have done probably about a third of a quick crossword. Couldn't get any more than that, even with your help. Equipajes especiales. We are en route to our hotel, which is on the other side of the island from the airport. It's about an hour and a half drive, and uh, we are just hitting the mountains. Oh yeah, check yeah. it out. You might be asking yourselves why we are at the furthest point on the island from the airport, but we kind of wanted to go somewhere quiet and we also discovered that there are some very, very cool roads, some hidden gems over this side, so uh, we are very much looking forward to seeing them. And in fact, part of our epic route is on our drive to our hotel, so shortly we'll be seeing one of the climbs. That's right, we're going to scope it out after some lunch, hopefully, because uh, I don't know about you, Dan, but I'm about to blow my doors. Well, I had a big bag of crisps. I do, I do need something. <laughs> right, time to get her ready. a bit of tape on your seat post so that you know where your previous saddle height was. <laughs> Saves a bit of time. Now, as Sai has already mentioned, a mini track pump like this one really does come in handy when you head away because, as mentioned, you don't really want to have a big track pump in the bike box with your bike. And equally, you don't want a huge track pump in your luggage either. Ready to go. Right. Do a bit of bike building. Just in case you wanted to see what was in the goodie bag. Here we go. The pedals, new brake pads, ETAP charger. I need to get on that tonight, I see. 
the other crucially important bit that I stress about massively. I've got to put my pedals on and that's it, because everything else needs charging up. Trusty Canyon Air Road, pretty much ready to go for tomorrow. Standard gears, 2,800 meters of climbing, should be fun. It's gonna be good. Given that it is the night before our bucket list ride, we definitely haven't been sat here all evening, but we did think before we turned in for the night that we better explain how despite having confessed already that we've never been to Gran Canaria before, we are 99% sure that we have a true gem of a bike ride in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty confident about this, aren't oh, we? Yeah. We've done a lot of research so that you don't have to there at home, using various means, some conventional, Google Street View, of course, uh, also Strava to create the route, but some slightly less conventional. Uh, we have used some local websites and some riding websites, uh, but also a road website called dangerousroads.org. One of the roads okay. that we're going to do on our bikes tomorrow features on dangerousroads.org. Hopefully, we shall survive it, but I am very confident this is going to be an epic and incredibly beautiful ride from what I've seen. I think it's my first dangerousroads.org road to have ridden down. Definitely. definitely. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, if you would like to see what the route looks like, feast your eyes on that. Ah! That looks beautiful. Should we have one more for, for the road, Dan? Just so that, you know, we're fortified. Yeah. A bit Dutch courage. Right, it's 7.30 in the morning, and I've just stepped outside onto the balcony of my hotel room, and I just want to draw your attention to something just behind me going on. That, that is the sun. That's right. Oh yeah, hard to think, isn't it? In the middle of winter, you leave rainy old home, and you jump on a short flight, and then the very next day, you can ride your bike in shorts and shorts New Jersey. That's pretty cool, isn't it?